Welcome to the Holographic Universe. This is part one of a five-part workshop series designed to examine how quantum physics and recent scientific experiments are radically changing our understanding of life, our reality, and our spirituality. For example, in January of 2012, Scientists at the GEO 600 Gravitational Wave Detector in Germany announced they now had scientific evidence that the entire universe is a holographic projection around the Earth. We'll take a look at that claim in detail later in this workshop. But first, imagine, if you can, living 500 years ago when many people thought the Earth was flat, and we based our opinions beliefs, judgments, and fears on that one elementary but very mistaken premise. Like falling off the edge of the world if you sailed too far west from Portugal, and how that limited human lives and experiences. When we found out the earth was round, we had to make some serious adjustments in our thinking. But unfortunately, you're going to discover in this workshop series that we simply traded one set of limiting beliefs for another. Well, we're at a turning point in history once again, and I want to share with you this revolutionary idea that we are living in a holographic universe and explore what that will mean in our everyday lives. Which brings up the question, who am I? And what are my qualifications to present this workshop? My name is Stephen Davis, and that's really all you need to know, because I am not the one who will be speaking to you today. Although you will be hearing my voice, you will not be listening to my beliefs or my opinions or my theories, because I am not an expert in quantum physics. I'm simply the messenger. My job is to bring you the message that the Earth is round and show you the scientific evidence for it. And I'm qualified to do that mainly because I have sailed around the world and experienced it for myself. But to present the scientific evidence is a different matter, and to do that I have brought with me the real experts to talk to you about quantum physics through video clips and audio files and quotes from their books. I want you to hear all of this directly from them, and then, if you disagree with something you hear, you'll have to argue with the experts, and not with me. For example, in 1991, Michael Talbot wrote a book called The Holographic Universe. Unfortunately, Michael died in 1992, just a year later. So this book is already 20 years out of date. And there's been a lot that's happened during that time in this field. But still, it's one of the best books I know to get started. And you'll be hearing a lot of quotes from it during these workshops. You'll also be hearing quotes from The Field by Lynn McTaggart, another excellent basic introduction to the subject. And you'll be meeting and hearing from a lot of different experts mainly physics professors at various colleges and universities from all over the world, such as David Bohm, renowned quantum physicist at Princeton University, Carl Pribram, neurophysiologist, Georgetown University, David Albert, Director of Philosophical Foundations of Physics, Columbia University, Richard Feynman, Professor of Theoretical Physics, California Institute of Technology. John Hagelin, physics professor at Maharishi University. Stuart Hameroff, associate director of the Center for Consciousness, University of Arizona. Nick Herbert, assistant professor of physics, Monmouth College. Mikhail Ledwith, professor of systematic theology, Maynooth College in Ireland. Andrew Newberg, Director of the Center for Spirituality and the Neurosciences, University of Pennsylvania. Dean Radin, Professor, Saybrook Graduate School. 
Jeffrey Satinover, Teaching Fellow in Physics, Yale University. Leonard Suskind, Professor of Theoretical Physics, Stanford University. William Tiller, Professor Emeritus, Stanford University. Fred Allen Wolf, author of Taking the Quantum Leap and Parallel Universes. Brian Green, Professor of Theoretical Physics, Columbia University. And many, many more. But I want to introduce you first to Dr. Amit Goswami. Dr. Goswami is Professor Emeritus in Theoretical Physics at the University of Oregon, Senior Scholar in Residence at the Institute of Noetic Sciences, and author of nine books on quantum physics, including The Self-Aware Universe and Science and Spirituality, A Quantum Integration. Listen carefully to what Dr. Goswami has to say. This is the only radical thinking that you need to do. But it is so radical, it's so difficult, because our tendency is that the world is already out there, independent of my experience. It is not. Quantum physics has been so clear about it. This is the only radical thinking that you need to do. But it is so radical, it's so difficult, because our tendency is that the world is already out there independent of my experience. It is not. Quantum physics has been so clear about it. You'll be hearing that quote probably half a dozen times over the course of these workshops, and each time you hear it, it will make more and more sense. But now let's begin by taking a trip into outer space and then back into inner space with a video called The Powers of Ten. Pay particular attention to what outer space and inner space look like. 